Welcome back students. This week we're going to be doing some pretty interesting programs. As you can see here, we're working this week on a cool password generator. We're going to first learn about ASCII codes, what those are, and you'll use that information to program an ASCII code translator. And then you're going to be given a challenge, and that is to create a program that generates a password and you'll uh, be using the information I teach you in these first couple lessons. So let's first take a look at what ASCII codes are. Um, ASCII codes are simply uh, codes and numbers that are recognized by a computer and translated into every key or every character on your keyboard. So think, look at your keyboard on your computer. You see letters, numbers, and all kinds of different characters or symbols. And every one of those has a corresponding number. And it, here's what those numbers are. For example, if your uh, computer needs to print a uh, exclamation mark, it knows that character on the keyboard as the number 33. Uh, the plus symbol is number 43. The uh, numeral 0 is number 48, etc. An uppercase A is the number 65. And we can go all the way through this list. This list is in Moodle. It's part of your course this week. And um, so we're going to learn how to uh, take numbers, just plain old integer numbers, and use them uh, and turn those numbers into characters like we're used to seeing, printable characters like we see on our keyboard. Okay, so let's go over and take a look at a simple program I've written um, to begin in learning about how to convert numbers to ASCII symbols. I've just written a very simple program, and I'm going to have you write it as well and turn it in. It just really translates or, or uh, converts numbers to ASCII symbols. The numbers, as you saw in that code uh, chart that I just showed you, the numbers that represent the numbers on your keyboard um, range from 33 to 127. Okay? You might be wondering, what about numbers 0 to 32? Well, those are others, other non-printable characters, um, and so we ignore those numbers. But the numbers 33 to 27 represent all the characters on your keyboard. So. In this particular program, a person can choose one of those numbers and then click this Convert to ASCII button, and they'll see the corresponding character from their keyboard that that number represents. Or they could also just click on this uh, Generate Random ASCII down here and get just a random number generated into a, a character or a symbol on their keyboard. So here's the program running. A person comes in here. They might want to say, well, what the number 33, what does that represent on the keyboard? And they click that. And as we all already learned earlier, that is the exclamation point, number 33. And I can go up and choose another number here. How about 65? That is the uppercase A, etc. Okay. And again, this um, is called a numeric up-down selector, and it's one of the controls in Visual C++. And you can see it doesn't go up any higher than, than 126. 126 is the tilde symbol. Okay. And it also doesn't go any lower than 33. So it allows me to choose only those numbers, which is handy. Uh, the other thing this program does is just generates a random character from the keyboard using a number. Of course, we've already learned how to generate random numbers, um, and I'm going to show you a slightly different way to do that in Visual C++ uh, Windows Form application, like we have here. But the idea is the same. We generate a random number, in this case between 33 and 120. Six. Actually, this should say 126 right here. Sorry, these numbers are wrong. Um, it's between 33 and 126. And I generate that run, random number, and it chose 106, which is the ASCII character lowercase j. Okay, and if I just keep clicking this, you'll see I'll get different numbers, which give me different ASCII characters. Okay. All right, so that's the simple program. And again, this, this doesn't maybe seem like a very meaningful program, but the whole point here is to learn how to to use a few functions and methods um, that will be required to create your password generator. All right, let's exit this program. Let's take a look at how it was programmed. First of all, the form designer. I have a simple um, menu strip at the top. It only has one button on it, the exit button. When clicked, that button will close the program. You should know how to do that from your previous programs that you've written. Uh, you have a label up here, just has a different background color, but it should say something like this, giving directions to the user. Again, the numbers are between 33 and 126, not 127. And then you're going to have another label. And here is the numeric up-down selector. And if, again, you can find that here in the uh, toolbox. So you'll just drag one of those out. When you do that, 
you can come in here and you can program its beginning value, which I set to 33, and then you can choose its maximum number and minimum number that it can be selected from, those the numbers that, that will appear in the selector. And so it's pretty obvious what you do there. And once you've done that, you do want to remember the name of that uh, control. It's called numeric up down one. That's all one word. You can see how it's written there. Okay, and then we have two buttons. We just simply have button one and button two. You want to make sure you know which button is which. They have different names written here in the properties window. Okay, let's start by clicking on this this button here and double clicking it. We see we go into the code view. And here's the code that runs that first button. And the, it's very quite quite simple actually. Um, to get a number from a numeric up down control, all I have to do is declare an integer variable, call it anything you want. I called it my num, and then give it a value. So all you have to do is give the name of the control. Remember it's called numeric up down one, and then do a dash greater than symbol which looks like an arrow and then say value and what it's doing is getting the value that's currently selected or displayed in that numeric up down control now what's this thing about here we have the uh, variable name uh, integer the variable type integer in parentheses what's doing what it's doing there is is called converting or or casting a variable value from one type of variable to another um, that's because the numeric up down uh, value always returns I believe a decimal value but we want to store it as an integer value so in order to turn the decimal value of this control into an integer we just put integer in parentheses right in front of this uh, value here and it, acts, it automatically converts it into an integer and stores it here okay so this is called casting casting a data type. It's an important thing to remember. We'll see it in other places. Okay, the next thing is the code that's used to convert a number, a simple number, into an ASCII code. And it's this function here, wcar underscore t. And this basically stands for a wide character um, that you're translating. Um, and uh, you don't need to worry about what wide character means, but just remember wcar underscore t and you're basically declaring one of those and then giving it the name of my character here oops and then you're giving it a value and what you do is again cast uh, this dub car uh, and what you're doing is inputting your number where does that come from well right here the number that you got from the numeric up down control gets placed in here and it gets cast or turned into a, a w car which is then stored here as simple as that. Then you're going to display a message in the message box. Basically you're saying um, your ASCII character is and then you add on to that string your character that you just created right here and you display it. It's as simple as that. Alright, let's go down a little bit. We Remember we also on our form had a button that generates a random ASCII. So hopefully you can easily figure out how this might be done. Again, this is on button one. Got to make sure you keep your button straight. Here uh, we learn a new way to create a random number. Simply we declare a random type. It's a managed uh, type. Just like string was a, was a managed type, it has this little caret here, random uh, object, and it has the name rand, ob, rand object, or R-A-N-D-O-B-J, and we declare a new random object. And then we use this random object to create a new random number, and it's an integer. We declare an integer called rand num and we give it a value. Here's how you do it. You just take the random object, put the forward arrow, then say next, which basically tells the random object to get the next random number, and then you can even give it a, val a range of numbers to choose from between 33 and 126. And you put that in parentheses. Next we use what we saw above with the wcar underscore t function. We take uh, we declare another variable, this time we'll call it ASCII character, okay? and I could call that anything I want, I just chose that as a variable name, and we do the same thing, we do a cast of this wcar type, um, we take this number right here, random num, which we just created right there, a random number between 33 and 126, and we turn it into an ASCII character using this. 
then we just display it in a message box. Here it says your random number is, it gives the random number so we know what was chosen and then it gives the ASCII character that that corresponds to. Okay. And last but not least we have the very simple code that controls our menu strip item for our exit button. Okay. So all I did is put in a message box that says goodbye and then close the program. Let's look at the program running one more time now that we understand the code. Again, all the code I've just shown you is in Moodle. You can see it there written out, um, so you can study it a bit more closely. Okay, so again, I choose a number between 33 and 126 here with this numeric up down. I chose 108. I convert it to ASCII. Again, it takes that number, uses that WCAR function, and I see I get the lowercase l character. It displays it here in a message box, and that's it. If I want to generate a random one, I get a random number, which was 115, again between 33 and 126, and that number 115 is the ASCII character lowercase s. And that's it. When I click on the exit button, the program gives me a message box, goodbye, and then ends. Okay, so I want you to create that program, I've pretty much showing you how to do it here, and I want you to turn it in. Um, and I also really want you to pay attention to all the things you were shown here because your big challenge program that you're going to do this week is to create a password generator using many of the skills I've shown you here. We'll come back and show you a bit more about how to do that in the next lesson.